we are on a 2022 Honda NT1100 taking it for a bit of a test ride because uh, my wife is very keen uh, on this I really don't like the DCT in town so far in town it just like going 50 kilometers an hour it put it up into fifth gear what why why would you do that <laughs> and I, I I wasn't touring so I thought oh maybe it's because it's in touring mode so I put it into urban still did it yeah cruising along like this perfectly fine but yeah corners beautifully like on these long stretchy you know long sweeping corners very comfortable suspension feels great like very smooth ride see like that I've slowed down to like 80 kilometers an hour and it's staying in sixth and it feels to be shaking because of it that that's just bizarre and it's it's in auto mode like it will it, it changes gears itself I haven't put it into to manual it's just in drive as you can see here it says 6d which is six gear in drive just like your car and an auto automatic car all right let's try this auto uh, oh, there we go it's a bit more lively <laughs> just so it's up a gear with this finger and down a gear with the button under here That sounds nice once you actually control the gears. Like I'll just uh, put it back into drive. We'll go this way and drive and uh, on the way back I'll put it into manual just to compare. see you put on the gas and it just shudders it's not what you want you want it to actually be in a gear that can accelerate if you want it to which it's just I mean yeah 95 k's an hour it's put itself into sixth gear you really have to ring the throttle to get it to change in and it dropped down two gears I think which would more shock someone because you're like expecting to be able to give a little movement and get a lot more smoother you know response yeah no I think just stick it into manual and uh, drop it down a gear and be a lot more comfortable yeah that's way more responsive feels less like a moped and like a motorbike I think it's probably a good way to compare the two two modes actually auto mode feels like a moped on a centrifugal gearbox whereas you put it into manual mode and drop it down a couple of gears from what it would put itself into and it feels like a you know the responsiveness is there which is what you want the auto setting to me seems horrible I mean if you want a real easy ride then yeah I guess but it's um I'd even say it verges on the edge of being a bit dangerous um with if you got into a situation where you couldn't break your way out of it like stop in time and normally you would use a bit of you know acceleration a bit of power to get around it that split second where you've got to wait for it to change the gear because it's put itself into too high a gear in my opinion um, I, I think that's yeah I think that's what's going on here but in the manual mode where I get control yeah 
I like it. It does look nice. A little weird at the front, but um, yeah, it looks nice. And it comes with the cases as standard. So it's the same same engine as the Africa Twin. From my understanding, it's pretty much just very similar to the Africa Twin, just catted out as a like a tourer. So I couldn't figure out how to get the screen to go up higher. Felt like I'm I'm sure that I'd seen people in videos you just grab it at the bottom and pull it up but it felt like I was going to break it so um, I really didn't want to just put a lot more force into it and I was being pretty solid with it um, so it's staying down <laughs> so things I'm liking about this bike is it's comfortable it handles really well, I give it that. Yeah, it's it's great. Comfortable, nimble, um, smooth, um, suspension's good. I just, I just can't get my head around this gearbox, eh? this whole DCT thing. Um, I think it just takes the, it takes, like in full auto it takes way too much control away from you in my opinion, way too much. The gears are part of how you control a motorcycle in my mind and you're giving that to the motorcycle to decide what to do and I don't think it does a very good job of it. Just notice that the indicators, they're set as running lights. You can see them reflected in these guards here. But those position of those guards are there for the ear to deflect it away from where your hand is. Which, yeah, there is, it does deflect a lot. Like, oh, it doesn't feel like any ear, any wind is blowing onto my hands you know directly at all and then I move it out there and you can feel it oh, so my final thoughts on this is I do do like the bike but I would love to try it in a standard setup manual you know clutch a whole shebang quick shifter I'd really like to thank um, the Honda shop, there you go, the Honda shop for letting me take this out and try it. Um, it is very nice, but uh, yeah, if you did like the uh, video, do like and subscribe. Um, we are going to be taking a few more bikes out for test rides, yeah, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.